thing, find an equation of a line, I'm thinking what format? Usually. Yeah, y equals mx plus b, right? I'm trying to find that y equals mx plus b. Now, in this case, I've got uh, a couple of uh, bits of information. I want it to be perpendicular to this line. What does that mean? Perpendicular means it has to have the opposite reciprocal of the slope, opposite reciprocal. Now, the <clears throat> question is, starting off with anyway, what is the slope of 6x minus 2y equals 9? Is it 6? No, it's not 6. I can't read the slope right off of that because it's not in y equals mx plus b form. So I need to put it in y equals mx plus b form. And so that's going to mean solve, uh, solve it for y. Get y on the side by itself. So I'm going to subtract the 6x, both sides. So I get minus 2y equals, I'm going to write that negative 6x plus 9. Then divide off the negative 2. And so that's y equals uh, negative 6x, a little more room, so it'll be negative 6x divided by negative 2 and positive 9 divided by negative 2, which gives me y equals 3x minus, and that'll be 4 and a half, 9 halves, however you want to write that. <clears throat> now I can clearly see that what is my slope of this line. That's our slope, yeah. Slope of this line is 3. So the slope of the line I want is perpendicular, opposite reciprocal, right? What would that be? Negative 1 third. Negative 1 third. It's a positive 3 slope, so I'd want a negative. Do the opposite sign and the reciprocal. Well, that's 3 over 1. So the reciprocal would be 1 third. All right, <clears throat> so that tells me on my line I want y equals negative one third x plus b. Oh, just got it. All right, so far, okay. So I want my slope to be negative one third for m x plus b. How do I find the b? Well, there's different ways, but <clears throat> I say, isn't this an x comma y? So let's plug in x to be negative four x to be negative 4 and y to be 7. <clears throat> I can make that substitution. Are those substitutions. And that's negative 4 over 1, so that would be negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. 3 times 1 is uh, 3. And so subtract the 4 thirds, b is going to be 7 minus 4 thirds, which is 21 thirds minus 4 thirds. One way we could calculate that, get a common denominator. Uh, 17 thirds is b. So y equals negative 1 third, that's my m, x plus b, b is 17 thirds. Okay? We will probably have to do such a one as that on the test. Okay? Last but not least. Did everybody get that one? Sketch the scatter plot of the data in the table for number seven. Also find the equation of the line that goes through the points involving the years 2006 and 2009, use six for 2006, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so yeah, we did, uh, we did these scatter plots. Here's our data. Got year and expenditure in millions. So the uh, scatter plot, uh, it's gonna be One of these guys, right? 
All right, so we've got uh, 2006. I'm going to use 6 for 2006, 7, 8, 9, and 10 for the year. 6 is 2006. And then over here, my expenditures in millions of dollars. is 62 to 75 all right so uh, go by uh, there's 62 go by twos 64 66 68 70 72 74 76 something like that <clears throat> I'm not real neat at these pins here. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> all right, so 6 is 62.7, uh, 7 is 65.2, 8 is 67.9, 9 70.1, and 10 is 75.3. So there's our scatter plot. We want to do a line though also through the points uh, involving the years 2006 and 2009. So these two points right here, let's sketch a line through those. And we're calling that our line of best fit. You may have to draw your own line of best fit there. But through those two points, we've got 6, 62.7 and 9, 70.1. And so, What's the uh, equation that line going to be? Well, first of all, I need to figure out what. This is why uh, one of the other reasons I might have to use a slope formula. So another formula there for you to remember. You will need this one. Quadratic formula you may not need, but this one you will need. Slope equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Second y minus first y over second x minus first x. So my second y is 70.1 <clears throat> minus the first x is 62.7. Divide that by first x minus second x. So what does that give? 70.1 <coughs> minus 62.7. 7.4 divide by 3. And I would go ahead and say uh, one decimal place that 22.5 approximately. So what do I do with that? Well, that's y equals mx plus b then. That's my m. So this one's just like we did uh, previously. Now I need to find out what b is. Well, I can use... Uh, my 6, 62.7 for x and y there. Is that okay? 62 point, uh, so it would be 2.5 times 6, which is, what is that, 15. So 62.7 equals 15 plus b, subtract the 15, and we have our b, 47.7.